All right, so we've got some feedback here. Uh, I've never used Excel. I'm mulling if there's a way to integrate forms to streamline doing numbers and financial stuff. Uh, creative entrepreneur and not an accountant. Uh, great question. Using forms is actually one of my favorite uses for Sheets uh, because when you use a Google form, you can actually have a Google form linked to a Google Sheet and you can have structured data appearing into your sheet. Uh, and I've got some of that in my uh, demo folder right here. Uh, so you can see here I've got a um, I've got a form, and that form actually shows up into the um, uh, into the sheet here. So so I've got a uh, list of form responses here. I'm just gonna okay, wonderful. So here we have a form, um, and this is a very simple like end of day. Uh, business report. So what's the total amount of cash in the business minus the total amount of bills? So maybe I'll say uh, 10,000 was left over um, and new number of entries to the database. So this looks like a marketing KPI. So maybe I'll say there are 100 new entries in the database. I'm going to hit the submit button. And every time this form is submitted, I hope I found the right spreadsheet. Ta-da! There we go. Cool. So it's automatically put that data into there. And you can see we actually have a graph uh, which is running here. The graph's gone a little bit weird, uh, but uh, you can see here that data is being automatically updated on a graph. And so um, imagine this, you're a small business owner, you have the team that you want to be doing a daily report on their numbers. Maybe it's a sales manager who's not particularly great with um, you know keeping their paperwork up to date. Um, or maybe it's, um, uh, you know, like a, a general, you're the CEO uh, or, you know, or you're the founder and you have a general manager and you want them to just, you know, give you a daily report of the numbers. Um, this is a great way of getting data into a structured table. And when it's in a structured table, you can create great looking graphs. And when you have graphs like that, you can put them up on a TV and, you know, you can have them live in the office and, you know, have all your KPIs and numbers in a, in a rudimentary kind of dashboard. Um, there are more sophisticated ways of doing that using Google's tools like Google Data Studio. And uh, in our concierge program, uh, we will actually build custom um, Data Studio dashboards for your business. But if you just want to start out with the absolute basics, a form and a spreadsheet and a graph, they're live updating, stick it on a TV, use a Chromecast if you have to, and then automatically you've got a basic dashboard for your business, uh, which, is, which is pretty cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts. And I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. And number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything Workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.